wow and there we go that was that's the first one actually a lot better than i expected but wow yeah this example works as well in this video i'm going to show you how to use photoshop's new ai feature which is super fun to use and it can save you a ton of time for various different workflows so in order to try this new ai feature you actually need to install a different version of photoshop because it won't work with the original one so head into your creative cloud desktop app and then head down to beta apps right here on the left hand side and then where it says photoshop beta just hit install and then open that afterwards so before we get started and i show you how to use this i wanted to give you an example of what i did earlier so this fox image right here was what i started off with and then i've pulled out the layers panel right here i added some things to this so at first i thought i'd generate a new background that's sort of a fighting dojo then i thought these windows could do with outside scenery so i generated a jungle just to be filled into these windows this feature is called generative fill by the way that's the idea you make a selection of a specific area within your image and then you can fill out just that area or change it with ai then i added some lava to the floor because why not then some lamps after that hanging from the ceiling i changed the tail of the fox i added a bandana to his head and i changed his pants around as well and if we look at this bar at the bottom this is where the magic happens essentially so when i have the bandana layer selected right here i can still flick through the different options we've got different colors different styles and essentially whichever one you settle on will be saved into your layers panel and you can turn these on and off which is really really cool so let's actually jump into a different image and i can show you some different ways and options that they have to use this feature so here we've got a really cool looking image of a wolf but one problem with it is that it's quite narrow and tall so if you wanted to use this as a poster for example for print and demand then you might struggle actually filling out some of the poster sizes but now we've actually got the option to change the aspect ratio with the crop tool so uh, select that from your toolbar then you could pull on the side right here and if you hold down alt it will extend it on both sides you could also select a ratio from up here alternatively if you're looking for a specific one like five by seven or something like that and then just commit to these new dimensions then you want to use the rectangular marquee tool up here you can also hit m on your keyboard and you just want to make a selection of the empty areas and a tiny bit of the actual image as well that makes it easier for the ai to actually generate more so do this on on the other side as well by holding down shift we can add to a selection draw a box here as well and now i'm just going to click generative fill right here at the bottom you can type something in obviously if you want to add a bandana like you saw before but in this case we just want to generate more of the image so we can leave this blank hit generate photoshop's going to think for a little while you get this bar that's loading and then you got three different options you can hit generate again and it gives you another three but there we go that was really really quick and now we can flick through these either down here at the bottom or you also get a layer on the right hand side right here in the properties panel where you can see the thumbnails for these as well so i think for the most part photoshop actually did a really good job here of making it look like a wider image without it being obvious that it's been filled in by ai like besides the last one they all look really good and usable to me like there's a bit of a line here right where you can sort of tell it's not seamless but besides that amazing job done with this image another way you can utilize this feature is with the lasso tool so just select that from your toolbar over here or hit l on your keyboard and the thing about the lasso tool is you can draw custom shapes anywhere on the image which makes it easier to select a specific area that you want to fill so let's say i want to add a chain to this dog over there, to this wolf all you have to do is just draw a chain shape around his neck and i'm not very good at drawing shapes with my mouse but there we go that's sort of what i wanted to do let's hit generative fill and actually type in a prompt this time so let's do rustic silver chain with stains and texture there we go that's option one option number two and option number three all very similar they don't blend too well into the image but that's something you can obviously fix afterwards with different photoshop effects as well another thing you can do is actually using the quick selection tool to make a selection say if i wanted to have the entire background right here swapped out i'm going to have to merge these two layers right here because they both have the background within it so i'm going to select both of these and merge them and now i'm going to use this selection tool right here to draw around our 
wolf just so that it encapsulates the background and not the mountains right here in the foreground so let's just check the wolf face right here make sure that's not going to be part of this selection a warm relaxing sunset hit generate and that way maybe we'll be able to change the mood of the image a bit wow and there we go that was that's the first one actually a lot better than i expected it does blend in quite well with the rest of the image and if i flick through the other ones that is quite cool right behind the wolf itself now the sun is not very round so it wouldn't be usable but wow yeah this example works as well so i think you can see some of the power right there with the different select tools that you have the lasso tool uh, quick selection you can use the magic wand as well if you've got like a, a plain color background for example to just quickly fill in different areas and really speed up your process that looks amazing again on this one the sun got messed up so definitely give this tool a try i know a lot of you will be using photoshop already anyways and this is just going to make life that much more easy with print and demand graphics you can make some quick edits with photos you can retouch them very easily you can expand them if you need more height or more width many other uses right i could see this being really handy for youtube thumbnails for example if any of you do create youtube videos so just play around with it super super fun highly recommend it and if you've never heard of photoshop i'm pretty sure you can usually get a free trial to it i will leave a link to it down below in the description if you want to test it out for yourself if you like the look of Photoshop's new AI, then you will definitely benefit from watching this video next where I show you Adobe Firefly and how we can use it as print on demand sellers.